If you like this video and channel, click on the like button and subscribe button. Also, if you want to have notification when new video released, click on the notified button. Hello, welcome in the video where you can see how to show in your HMI some PDF view. Okay, for this example we use <coughs> HMI runtime, also known as WinCC RT. Okay, PDF view you can find in the control of the toolbox of your HMI. Okay, here is PDF view. We drag and drop this, this object. Okay, we make it a little bit bigger, <coughs> for example, like this. Okay, <coughs> sorry. Now we create some tag which contain the source of our PDF file, for example, with the name PDF source of data type. W string. Okay, save the project. <coughs> now we insert some IO field where we can see the patch to the other PDF file. And <coughs> as a process stack of this IO file will be PDF source tag. Okay, we use it only for output the value of this tag and also we make bigger land of this tag. Okay, same we make on the screen. For example, the land <coughs> of the string will be 100. Okay, now we insert some, some button which we use for browsing the PDF file. Okay, we drag and drop the button. <coughs> the name of the button will be Browse and the event of this button will be for example if we release this button then we use function open file browser okay these are some parameters of this function where mask is the parameter which file we, we want to find for this we use mask dot pdf okay start folder is the parameter of the our start folder for this we use this one this will be our start folder where we save the pdf which we want to see on our hmi okay we go back here we paste start folder this is some other parameters all, all help to this parameter of this function you can find in the information system of TIA portal here you can see file specify the mode in which the dialog is opened we use file search mode and there is some other parameters patch parameter we use to where we want to save the source of our PDF file. For this we create the tag PDF source. Okay. And also we must define some status. For example, we use PDF status tag. First we want to create this tag and the data type of this tag will be for example integer. It's integer because the return value is integer returns information about the dialog closing mode. Minus one when dialog was cancelled 
and zero when dialog was closed it's okay okay we have the browse button save the project and okay now we can try to simulate our edge my okay we click on the browse and here is our patch which we define as a start patch and here is some PDF files for example we click on the TIA guideline okay but how you can see file does not exist okay that something's wrong try to click on cinematic manual mm, okay we have some troubles for now I don't want to know which troubles <laughs> say a guideline okay yes because we <laughs> forgot say to our PDF object PDF view object what is the source of the PDF here we use file name by tag okay and our source is PDF source okay now we save and try it again again browse click on the TIA guideline okay yes and now how you can see we have PDF in our runtime there is some functionality zoom in zoom out but also you can create the buttons where which you can use as next page or previous page functionality okay bring it here symbol as previous page and symbol as next page now we <coughs> make the events for these buttons for example for previous page if we press the button previous page we call the function edf go to previous page and for this button PDF go to the next page okay we save the project and again simulate the runtime browse the PDF file okay and now if you click on the next page button then the next page is shown same for the previous page button also you can use your zoom in zoom out buttons Up. okay we make it a little bit smaller yep and I'll adjust it to previous button okay here for example minus and here for example plus again we go to the events of these buttons and <coughs> if we press the zoom out button we call the function PDF zoom out and same for the zoom in button PDF zoom in okay now we can test it browse the file for example cinematic manual okay go to the next page and now you can zoom in 
the page and also zoom out the page with your created buttons. Okay, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching the video where you can see how to work with PDF file in your <coughs> HMI runtime. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.